In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to properly install, operate, and maintain a multi-lift, one of several independently tested and verified ADA-compliant pool lifts from the swimming pool accessibility experts at SR Smith. The multi-lift features a 350-pound lift capacity, a seat assembly with grab handles to ensure safe transfer, a footrest, a seat belt, and a patent-pending lift operator intelligent controller. Options include armrests and the wheel-away mobility feature that allows the multi-lift to be easily removed from the deck. In this video, a multi-lift is being installed to replace a non-ADA compliant pool lift. The installer inspects the site to ensure it meets the ADA deck space and water depth requirements. Using the multi-lift anchor jig, he marks where he will drill the holes in the deck. The National Electric Code states that permanently installed pool lifts or permanently installed anchoring parts must be bonded in compliance with 680.26 of the NEC code. To bond the lift, the installer must locate the rebar, which is embedded in the pool deck. He then cuts out an area in the concrete to gain access to the rebar. Once the rebar has been exposed, the installer confirms the location for the front anchors of the lift. When the anchor drilling is complete, the installer tests to make sure the anchors are flush level and true. He then fills the holes approximately halfway with epoxy and inserts the anchor. The anchor jig must be used to ensure the anchors are held in the correct position until the epoxy is cured. Once the epoxy has been cured to the manufacturer's instructions, the pool lift is ready to be installed. As with any pool deck installation, be sure to check with your local authorities regarding specific code and permit requirements. Also, refer to the individual lift owner's manual and installation guide for detailed information. The lift operator comes attached to the mast of the multi-lift. Plug the actuator plug into the smaller socket. Next, insert the hand control plug into the large socket on the control box. Now you are ready to attach the battery. The lift operator can be purchased with an optional activation key feature that prevents unauthorized use of the lift in unattended facilities. The battery pack can be secured to the mounting plate using the lock plate assembly and securing with a padlock. The optional console battery cover prevents moisture from collecting on the control box and battery. The multi-lift comes standard with a right seat mounting configuration. The seat assembly is secured to the mast with the bolts provided. Based on the lift orientation to the pool, you may need to change the seat orientation to a left seat mounting configuration. Consult the installation instructions for details. The footrest is attached using the hardware provided. The multi-lift is now ready to be tested. Check all controls and the emergency stop button to ensure proper operation. After the user has transferred to the lift, the user puts on the seat belt before using the hand control to lower the seat into the pool. The multi-lift is designed to enable a user to access the pool without assistance. If the user requires assistance while in the pool, they can activate an audible alarm by pressing two buttons on the hand control. The touchpad on the lift operator can also control the lift. When the emergency stop switch is activated, the lift immediately stops moving and emits an audible alarm. When the user has completed their activity, they easily and safely exit the pool using the multi-lift. Routine lift maintenance and cleaning are an important part of ensuring accessibility. 
Regular service helps prolong the life of your lift, supports daily operation, and helps satisfy the ADA's maintenance of accessible features provision. Consult the owner's manual and installation guide for detailed information regarding maintenance procedures. The lift operator features a service required LED to notify lift owners that required maintenance for the lift must be completed. A detailed performance log may be downloaded to a standard USB memory stick and viewed on a PC. When the performance log has been downloaded, the service required LED is reset. ADA compliant pool lifts will ensure everyone has equal access to public swimming facilities. For more information on the ADA requirements and SR Smith pool lifts, visit poollifts.com. Trust SR Smith, the swimming pool accessibility experts. Visit poollifts.com for more information.